Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, let's talk about a gun. It's no secret, the Waltz. This week, from Lakshmi. Pretty much a god roll. Uh, Lakshmi, we've been visiting you a lot lately. Some scout rifles, maybe some sidearms, maybe a ghost shell or two? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Lakshmi's inventory has been looking pretty good for a, a little while now, and uh, the most current form of that is this vendor version waltz the waltz a burst fire weapon named and sanctified sanctified by the future war cults leaders so this is the uh, future war cult pulse rifle so what i like to do in my gun videos is we will take a gun in destiny talk about it look over its flavor text talk about its base stats maybe compare it to a couple other notable uh weapons in the same archetype or family uh then we'll talk about some pve and pvp gameplay so if that sounds like something you are interested in Let's get right to it. There will even be a Crucible package opening at the end of the video. I realized when I loaded in, I had a Crucible package, so we'll open that at the end, see if we can't get another God Roll uh, weapon of some sort. But anyway, Lakshmi this week, the vendor reset happened on Tuesday, and she brought, she, I guess, she's an XO, but she, she I'm going to call her she, uh, Waltz, the Waltz Pulse Rifle, and uh, it has these rolls, high caliber rounds, hip fire, Perfect balance, third eye, and counterbalance. Now, these top three right here look pretty ridiculously good. Now, the question becomes, is it actually ridiculously good? Now, I did purchase this version. I have upgraded. I have played with it. I've done some fun things with it and had some fun, and uh, I'm here to report to you. It's definitely a fun gun. But let's get into the details. Let's talk about the archetype. It is the high rate of fire, low impact pulse. It's not, I don't think it's as low as the Grasp of Malak and uh, Clever Dragon, but I can't check right now because Destiny Item Manager is down. Uh, we might just take a stroll on down to my uh, my vault, see if we can't pull them out the hard way and do it that way, but it is a, a low impact, high rate of fire pulse rifle, and I've had a couple different versions of the waltz. Did some videos a couple months ago after the Rise of Iron came out. And I just, it never clicked with me. I never quite could get the right version or get one that I thought was really, really good. And so uh, then this one rolled around, and I've used it for a couple days now. And uh, it's definitely the best one I have ever gotten. But we'll talk about some details in just a minute. If I can grab a clever dragon out of my vault, doing this live. Live for your eyes. Where is my clever dragon? I know it's in here. I know it's on, there it is right there. Clever dragon. So we got some pulse rifles to compare it to. Uh, so it is a low-impact, high-rate-of-fire pulse rifle comparable to it is the Grasp of Malak and Clever Dragon archetype. I didn't realize it. My, my bad. My bad. So uh, Praetor's Timepiece is right there with it. And uh, it's a pretty cool gun. I definitely like it. It did not suffer the same fate as the Grasp and the Clever Dragon. It still has the 30-round magazine. Praetor's Timepiece beats it by one burst. But you can see how it compares to those two. My Praetor's Timepiece is fully leveled, as are these. And base stats on the Clever Dragon to the Waltz. Uh, the Waltz's stability is not too good out of the gate. This Clever Dragon has zero upgrades on it. So you can kind of see that uh, base stability on the Waltz is not the greatest. That's probably the reason I had trouble with it when I was using other versions. But this one's got a lot of help in that department. So let's talk about it, get into the role, and then we'll talk about some game play. So the Waltz... Perfect balance, counterbalance, high caliber rounds. This is your uh, this is your PvP setup right here. If you're running PvE, go with hip fire. Because, I mean, high caliber rounds, I mean, I guess for PvE, high caliber rounds are going to stagger a lot of your enemies and they're not going to be able to return fire as easily. But, perfect balance, counterbalance, and high caliber rounds in PvP, uh, much preferred. So, that's the roll, hip fire. Third eye, if you so choose to turn off perfect balance, third eye could be useful. We have... Uh, artifacts now that make that perk kind of obsolete unless you want to run a different artifact maybe you're running scories maybe you're running uh memory of jolder for the sprint if that's the right one that i'm thinking of but uh this is the pulse rifle uh you know what you love it it's been around for a while and we finally got that version we've all been salivating for and i gotta say i'm really enjoying the vendor resets so let's talk about pve and pvp gameplay so pve uh, it's it's a pulse rifle. It's a high rate of fire pulse rifle. Not necessarily a PVE dominant weapon. Uh, there's especially with the new raid, the new the new old raid weapons coming back. It's hard to find a PVE gun that's better than those old PVE raid weapons. So uh, in situations 
when you just don't feel like switching your PvP loadout, it'll do fine. I mean, it's just fine for PvE. Uh, any gun that does good in PvP is going to be pretty alright for PvE. It's not going to be the best, but it's not going to do terrible. I mean, even the last word, if you take it into PvE, you'll do alright. You might struggle, and it might be silly, and your teammates might question your ability to make decisions, but it'll do alright. It still kills the mans. Uh, it's kind of the same with this waltz. It kills the mans in PvE, but that's not where it exemplifies itself. Let's talk PvP performance. PvP, it's wonderful. It's so wonderful. Now, it's not my number one. I still find myself, for some reason, that Parthian shot from last week has taken my number one pulse rifle splot. Splot? Shot. Slot. It's place. <laughs> it's taken the place as my number one pulse rifle, the Parthian shot. Uh, now, the Waltz is very good in PvP. I just, it's the archetype. I don't like that high rate of fire archetype. For some reason, it just doesn't click with me. I miss the headshots or I get too excited or I fire too fast. And in PvP, I end up missing the shots. But the stability is there. Counterbalance, perfect balance, great stability. I didn't notice high caliber rounds put me in a, a distinct advantage, but I'm sure it was there. They have been nerfed a little bit most recently, so they're not as effective as they used to be, especially on this archetype. But in PvP, it's still solid. It's a solid performer. I give it A minus. A minus for PvP. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And it was a good gun. But I still found myself going to the Parthian shot with that high impact, low rate of fire pulse. Same mag size. Actually, I think it's got 24 in the mag. Parthian shot's a little bit smaller. So, uh, but it's got a much higher impact and a slower rate of fire. And it has an outlaw and range finder. So it's going to outrange it and uh, definitely hit harder. And I find the Parthian shot, it's, it, it feel, they feel the same. Just one of them fires faster than the other. It's because they look very similar and they have the similar scopes on them. So uh, the Waltz, it was very, very good. Uh, if I kept using it, I would get really good with it. But I'm probably going to do the thing that I always do and uh, move along to other guns, have fun with those, relegate this one to the vault, and then pull it out later on when I feel like it. It's a good gun. Definitely a good gun. If you're looking for a solid PvP pulse rifle, this is the gun. This is probably the best roll you're going to get on it. So get it this week if you haven't already gotten it. If you have, let me know what you think about it. And what other guns do you want me to take a look at? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to go visit old Lord Shax, and I'll tell you guys if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and come check out the Twitch channel. I record these videos a lot of times live on Twitch. So come check that out. I stream early in the mornings every day. Every day. Link is in the description. So check that out. And I'm going to grab this, this package. Chaotic neutral. That's a high impact, low rate of fire machine gun that I don't want. That's a pretty good one though. Feeding frenzy I like. Counterbalance I like. Rifle barrel I like. I don't know. Might have to hold on to that. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. So we'll think about that one as we dance it out. And I say thank you again guys. And until next time, I'm Death Rub, and I'll see you later. See you back.